Want colder AC from your car? This time I'm going to show you how I made my Suburban a little cooler. So the secret to this whole deal is this, an electric cooling fan. Now most modern cars come with electric cooling fans from the factory. Older vehicles like my Suburban here frequently came with a mechanical fan that is attached to the front of the engine. And as far as the Suburban goes, some of these did actually have an electric fan in front of the condenser here for the air conditioner. However, this one did not. So one great way to improve your cooling is to put more airflow through the front of your condenser. The condenser lives in front of the radiator and there's a gap between the two of them. So the mechanical fan doesn't efficiently pull air through the condenser like it does the radiator. The radiator has got a shroud for the fan, so all of that's getting air, but there is a lot of air going around the condenser because it is not sealed off to the front of the radiator like the back of the radiator is to the fan with the shroud. Anyway, what that means is that we can get more airflow through there by sticking an electric fan on the front of the condenser. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you do want to try this yourself, I'll throw links to some of these parts down in the description of this video. However, I had most of this lying around. Of course, you're going to need the fan itself. You're going to need a relay kit to run the fan because you can't run this directly off of a 12 volt switch or you're going to have problems. So you can do this like the way that I'm going to do it. You can put a 12 volt switch into the system as well to trigger the relay that turns on the fan so that you can turn it off when you want or you can tie directly into the AC compressor signal so that that triggers the relay and turns on the fan. So the first step is going to be removing the grill. aside and now we can get to the uh, condenser here so here's what we're gonna do we are going to mount a cooling fan right here in the front on the condenser probably something like this should be good Well, it isn't really necessary to do this job, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this filler panel as well. Because while I'm in here, I'm going to try to take care of some of this rust that's on the uh, core support. Here it is. So just a quick refresh, but definitely looks a lot better. So while uh, we're waiting on that to dry, we'll take a look at the rest of the setup here. Of course, to run the fan, need a relay kit. And then to trigger the relay, I could just trigger it off of the uh, air conditioner compressor signal. But for right now, what I'm going to do is actually wire it to a switch just because I uh, am concerned about the condition of my alternator so I'd like to be able to turn it off if I need to. Also don't forget on these fans to check the way that it's set up. These came off of an old radiator of mine and they were um, and they were pulling air rather than pushing it. Now it's going to be pushing air so you need to unscrew the nut on the back of the fan and flip it over if you're switching them and then uh, make sure you get it wired up correctly as well. Speaking of wiring, I've already put a weatherproof uh, two-wire connector on here. The other end of this, of course, will hook up to the, uh, the relay kit. And then to install the fan on the radiator, I went ahead and got a new uh, fan install kit for like five bucks off of Amazon. So really all I will have spent for this project is um, the fan install kit and then the... Uh, the pack of five wiring connectors for like... I don't know, nine or ten dollars, something like that. So, like two dollars. So it's going to end up being like under ten dollars for me for the uh, the whole setup here, um, since I had the fan lying around already, and I actually had this relay kit lying around already. Oh, and I had to buy a pack of uh, switches here as well. So anyway, let's get this fan installed on the uh, condenser. All right, fans installed. 
Unfortunately, to get to the backs of a couple of these, I couldn't just reach around through here. I ended up having to unbolt the entire top of the uh, fan shroud and pull the radiator back as much as I could. Although that's good because I found, of course, more corrosion here that I'm going to go ahead and take care of now, including these uh, hold down brackets are pretty crusty. Okay, so next thing I need to do is find a place for the relay to live. And I think I'm gonna put that uh, somewhere, somewhere over in here on the driver's side inner fender because the other relay box is right there. So kind of keep them all in the same place. And I just checked, I've actually got enough length on these wires that I can come through on this side and plug in right here without adding anything else other than the pigtail. So, going to go ahead and solder that other end of the pigtail into this relay harness now. Okay, so I got the wiring temporarily in here. So let's just make sure it works and everything is hooked up properly before we finish installing everything. I'm tying into power on the back of the uh, fused relay block here. So, red's power for the relay and white is the trigger wire. Yep, it works. All right, so I just need to mount this relay here and then hook up a switch for the trigger wire. All right, well, here it is. Okay, so here's my switch in the dash in the 3D printed panel that I made. And uh, as you can see, it is in the on position, but the fans aren't running because the switch gets its power from a heat ignition source so as soon as we turn that on the fan runs so I didn't get good readings with the temperature gun on the actual temperature coming out of the vents driving this with the fan but I can tell you it made a huge difference so before sitting in traffic with the Sun beating in both the front and rear AC had to basically be on full high just to kind of keep air moving through the car and after sitting for a few minutes the air was barely cool that was coming out of the vents. After putting this fan on, sitting in traffic in the direct sun, same conditions, there's actually cold air coming out of the vents. So that's a big improvement and I can actually sit here with the fans on medium or medium low and it's actually comfortable and before that just wasn't possible so the fan definitely made a big improvement the other thing i noticed immediately is when i switched the fan on my compressor which is on its last legs sounded much better so i think just having that fan pull more of the heat out of the system through the condenser took some of the load off of the compressor so hopefully that'll get me another year or two out of that before i have to replace that but it's definitely made it way more comfortable in the car here. So if you have an older car or a Suburban like this and you don't have that electric fan on there, it's a great way to make your AC blow colder for just a few bucks. So make sure you like this video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave me a comment down below if you've got something to add. And I will see you next time.